looking to get some stats on your server. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the stat server bot. So let's take a look. We're at the uh, desktop of our Windows 10 PC and I have my freshly installed GeekRar server up and running in Discord. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be adding the server stats bot. So we'll leave that open and we're gonna go to a website. The website that we're heading to is serverstatsbot.com. I'll make sure I put this link in the description below. And the setup for this is actually pretty straightforward. When we get to the homepage, the first thing that you wanna do is invite the bot. So click on the invite the bot link. It's gonna go through an authorization process right now where it wants to connect to your server. And it's stating that permissions for this server will be to create commands on your server. So that's fine. And you just need to select the server that you have right now. I only have one right now, and that is the one I'm gonna be selecting. And then you just click on continue. Here's all the read write permissions that it's gonna be asking for that server. These are fine. If you have any issues, you can uncheck them. Then you scroll down and then click on authorize. So we'll just have to go through the scenario right now. We'll just check this and then I'll fill this out. Those are all boat. Okay, there we go. So you can see that we already got the notification that it's already on our server now. It's linked in. So it's been connected to our server. Let's just jump in right now. And then you can see right over here that it's a member on the server right now. So before you do anything else, you wanna make sure that you give this bot the correct permission on your server. So if you've watched my video before, we've created a role called bots, which gives it admin privileges on your server. And I'm just gonna right click on the bot and I'm gonna go over to roles and then I'm gonna check this option over here, which is the bot one. This has administrative rights on my server. Gonna check it and now we've added it to the bot group right over here. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you can check out my installation tutorial, which is this right over here and I'll walk you through those steps. And there's just a couple of commands that we're gonna run right now to get it set up and then we'll get the statistics over on the right hand side. Okay, so to set up the server, the only thing that we have to type in right now is type in s slash setup and then hit enter and now it's asking what type of channel you want to create for the counter uh, you have the option of voice text announcements stage or you can just type in cancel if you don't want to do anything i'm going to be using the text option because that's the most popular one so let's type in text hit enter and now it's starting it up it just takes a moment for it to initialize and it's complete so it lets us know right here that it's automatically going to update the counter every 10 minutes and over on the left hand side is our channel statistics let me just close this and it'll pop up here at the top and you can see all the members i have no members on the server this is just just a test server i'm going to be testing out a lot of bots and i'll be creating videos for them and there it is over here on the left hand side it lets you know the members all members the member groups and you can modify these to whatever groups you want so if you want to do that just type in s slash counter and now it lets you know all the types of roles that you can add to your counter now there's premium ones and if you find this useful you might want to actually uh, subscribe to their premium service and one other thing I want to mention is if you want to change the name, you're not happy with the name that it comes up with automatically, you can just hit the little gear over here on the right hand side and just delete it. So you can change the name to whatever you want it to be. One thing that is actually important for this is that you leave the dash and the number, any number at the end. It'll automatically update this number every 10 minutes. So that will change and that's not a problem but you can put a personalized name in here. Then you just need to click on the save changes option at the bottom and then you can back out of here. And so you can see over here on the left-hand side that the name has now been updated and that's how you customize it. So as an example right now, I'm just gonna quickly create a role so you can just see me walk you through that process right now. So you wanna type in, we're gonna type in S slash counter space create. So it's gonna ask what type of counter we wanna create. I'm gonna create one for the roles right over here. So I'll just type in roles, hit enter. And now it wants to know what type of channel we're gonna be creating, whether it's gonna be voice, text, or category or announcements. I'm gonna be using text again, there we go hit enter over here on the left hand side it now created a new server stack called roles and it lets you know that there's eight different roles on my server and once again if you click on the settings option over here on the left you can change the name of this to whatever customized name you've got to make sure that you leave the dash and number at the end so it actively updates that channel there are a lot of different things that you can do with this server. I'm just gonna switch back over to the website, click on commands, and you can scroll down. And it's quite an extensive list of all the different things that you can do. Next to each command, there's a little description of what it does, and you can just try them out. So that's how you do it. That's how you set up the server stats on a Discord server. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you wanna learn more about Discord bots, I'm gonna be doing a series of videos on Discord bots. So subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.